welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this session i'll be showing one one most important numerical example on a power law we discussed what is power law okay we already discussed what is power law let us read out the problem first read out and understand in an experiment uh, for determining the the breakdown strength of transformer oil the following observations were made determine the power law you have to determine the power law see you have to determine the power law now between gap spacing and applied voltage of the transformer oil okay you can see this is a transformer oil they have taken and they have applied particular voltage at a particular distance for example uh, solution let us look back to solution uh, for example at the gap spacing of 4 mm what is the breakdown voltage breakdown voltage is 90 when you maintain the gap distance is 6 mm the obtained value of breakdown voltage is 140 kV. Similarly, uh, when it is at uh, 10 mm, we found breakdown voltage is 210, 210 kV. Likewise, uh, when the distance, gap distance is 12 mm, the breakdown voltage is 255. So, your job is to determine the power law. You are supposed to determine the power law uh, for those two parameters, gap spacing versus uh, breakdown voltage. Okay, now uh, first and foremost thing what you can do, plot a graph, the data is already provided with you, plot a rough, rough graph, rough sketch, if you have a graph sheet that is well and good, we can ident easily identify the points exactly, right now we can draw in a rough manner, whenever you are practicing you better draw in a graph sheet, such a way that we can figure out very easily, okay, first procedure is plot the graph, plot the graph, step number one, given data, these are the given data, that I have written over there. Now we will be plotting the graph first. Okay. You can plot breakdown voltage. Here breakdown voltage. Breakdown voltage in terms of KV is a gap spacing. Gap spacing in terms of Millimeter. First you mark the x-axis, you can mark like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, 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 up to 20. Okay, similarly you can mark y-axis, that is breakdown voltage, you any, any scale you can take, no issues. You can take 20, 40, and then 60, etc, etc, etc. Till you can take, uh, what is the last reading? 255. Almost you take almost uh, 260 or 280. Mm. Now we can directly plot. Okay. If you plot the graph, it will be almost similar to last reading is 255. You will be getting uh, this kind. Okay. So you will be getting the curve in the straight manner. Okay. Straight curve you will be getting. So you have to mark all the points very correctly. All the, all the points. Very clearly, you have to mention the points. Okay. So, this is a graph which you obtained. This is a first, first and foremost thing. Now, what you can do is, what is power law actually? What is power law? Power law is actually Vb, Vb is equal to, Vb is equal to A into D to the power M. A into D to the power M. Now, take the logarithm on both sides. That means, ln Vb, that is equal to, Lan A plus N into Lan D. You apply the logarithmic formula. Then from this you are supposed to calculate N. N is equal to Lan VB minus Lan A divided by Lan D. You will be getting in this manner. That means uh, Lan VB minus Lan A divided by Lan D. So N means we can assume this will be a slope. This will be, you take any of the point. If you calculate the slope, if you calculate the slope, that means delta y by delta x. The slope will be delta y by delta x. That means n is equal to, n is equal to delta y by delta x. That will be the slope. Same thing, delta y by delta x. So we will be assuming, if you calculate the slope, you will be getting the value of n. From here, did you understand how to get n? Very simple, apply logarithmic formula. Apply logarithm on both sides, then you will come to know what is the value of n. So, if you n means it's a slope, n means it's a slope, no, don't n means it's a slope. So, from this, if you calculate the slope, the slope value will be approximately 
0.947 स्लोप वैल्यू n विल बी n विल बी अप्रोक्सिमेटली 0.947 दैट्स अ स्लोप वैल्यू y एक्सिस बाय द x एक्सिस यू नो व्हाट इज स्लोप देन हाउ टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ a a मींस यू प्लीज एक्सट्रापोलेट द कर्व यू हैव टू एक्सटेंड द ग्राफ टुवर्ड्स y एक्सिस टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ a एक्सटेंड द ग्राफ एक्सटेंड द ग्राफ एक्सटेंड द ग्राफ टुवर्ड्स y axis extend the graph towards y axis then uh, i'll be getting the value of a this this should be the value of a so if you calculate the va value of a uh, it will be approximately 24.5 24.5 24.5 just extend you need to extend it then you'll be getting this point a so a value will be how much a value is equal to 24.5 i'll be writing a equal to 24.5 and n is equal to Point nine four seven. Okay, hope uh, you could understand. You just extrapolate. If you draw the graph properly in the exact scale, then you will come to know the n, n value as well as a value evidently. Now, what are the things you will see? Would the value of a is available? What is the value of a? Extrapolate in the graph towards y axis. I will be getting value of a is equal to twenty four point five. So power law can be written as v b v b is equal to a value. What should I give? Twenty four point five. I will be giving. Uh, 24.5. Okay, uh, gap distance. That means this is a variable. What is the value of n? N means slope y-axis by x-axis. How it is a slope? We just derived by using uh, the given equation. That means 0.947. 0.947. This is actually your power law. This is a relation for power law for the given uh, data. So this is the way how to plot the power law. This is zero point nine four seven. Okay. So this is the way how to determine the power law for a given data in exams, especially B T U examination. They will be giving certain data. They are going to ask determine the power law for the given data. Okay. So that we can easily determine the graph. It will be asked for ten mass questions. You, you can easily score this particular numerical example. Let me conclude. First, read the given data. These are the given data. Uh, segregate separately. Next step is you need to plot the graph in y axis. You put the breakdown voltage. X axis you can put the uh, graph. Plot breakdown voltage versus gap. Then you will be getting a straight line. And then third one you derive the expression for n. Expression for n. That's the relation between v b and uh, v b and d. That means v b is equal to a into d to the power n. N means uh, it will be a slope. It will be a slope. From this curve you can calculate the value of n. That will be a slope. That must be a slope. So slope should be calculated first. Thereafter, what you can do? Please extend the graph. This is a curve, no? This is a curve. Please extend the curve towards y-axis. Then the meeting point is known as the meeting point. See, the meeting point. I'll be marking in separate ink. This this will be a. This will be a. See, this point will be a. This point will be a. This point will be n. Then uh, put the same uh, value of constant over the given equation. V is equal to a into d to the power n. A value can be given. Similarly, n value also also can be given. Finally, you can obtain the value of power law. This is most important question. Please practice and learn. Thank you for listening this video. I request please share with your friends. Ask them to watch completely and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.